Hey, how's it going guys? So uh, I am Skip from 533 and some of you guys know that I do a lot of work here in testing and I want to share that testing with you guys. I used to do this a long time ago, uh, which is a couple years ago in, in freestyle. I would test motors and show everything that they're about in one video, but I want to break that down a little bit and I want to show what it will do in a real world setting. So a lot of times you see people test on stands and and with a, a pure voltage with meters and everything I want something that resembles what is on a drone and I want to do it in the real world I want it to be like you actually build it and you're using it uh, so there is a lot of hype behind a lot of these products and I say the hype is for a reason but I want to show actual numbers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the real hyped up things that we have right now, uh, which is VCI. I have a, a VCI Whoop Motors. It's the dual ball bearing motors. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of those before uh, because there is a lot of hype behind them, but I just wanna say I'm not paid by anybody. I don't have any sponsorships or anything like that and nobody is telling me anything to do. So I, I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion on what they do, and I'm, we're gonna do real world tests and show the numbers, now, because I think numbers speak everything. So right now I'm just, I unboxed them and I stuck them on a drone, and I'm gonna show you what they look like right now. So here is the drone that I built. This is the Beta FPV Air. We have uh, 2G4 as the chip. No, I'm sorry. This is a T-Motor uh, 6 amp. The other one's going to be a 2G4. That looks like uh, the 2G4 looks a lot like the this T-Motor. But what's important is we have them on motor plugs, and the reason why I've done this is because a lot of people say you lose power with motor plugs so I want to test that out and see how much power we get out of it with these motor plugs and then we'll do a lightweight build on in a later video so this video right now is with the dual ball bearing 0702's 30,000 kV alright let's take it from here and uh, we'll go over here to the scales and what I've done is I took one of these old brushed uh, frames and I cut a hole in the center of it that way I could set this whoop upside down on here and put it on a scale and tear the weight make it even zeroed out and then I can arm it and we'll see exactly what a 465 Weebly battery does and a Tattoo 300 mAh battery does. These are 75C and these are 80C. So we're going to see what I've got four of these batteries. They're not the best batteries. They're not brand new batteries but uh, we're going to see exactly what they do. So I'm going to show you the test setting that I have and it's just super simple. We're not doing no uh, motor stands or nothing like that. We're gonna do an actual build. All right, guys, we'll set you up right here. And here is the motor stand, or the, uh, the motor stand. Here is the scale that we're gonna be using. And this is how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the drone I'm going to turn my remote on right here. And we'll zoom in a little bit. Not that far. There we go. All right. And we'll set it right there. So I'm going to turn this on. Now, I'm going to first do the Weebly 465, and you can see this battery is not the best battery. I've used the crap out of it, but it is a fully charged battery. So I'm going to take this battery and we'll stick it in just like you would normally do. 
on a drone or like if you're going to a race or whatever just like you're fixing to fly it and then we're going to plug that in we're going to set this upside down onto this test stand make sure my antenna is out of the way just like that so now the idea is to see how much thrust it pushes down onto the scale so I'm going to tear that it's on zero and we're going to see what we get I got I seen 65 on that Let's try it again I seen 68 do it one more time here. So 68 is the highest so far. We'll do it one more time. So 68. So with a dual ball bearing with a Weebly 465, I got 68. We're going to do it on the next Weebly battery here. The motors do not feel warm. The board doesn't feel warm. It feels good. So, just to make sure we didn't uh, mess up or that was a weak battery or anything like that, we're going to do it one more time with another 465 Weebly battery. These are ADC. We want to stick it up there just like we did the other one. It zeroed out on its own i didn't have to tear the weight here we go i got 58 59 60 all right so I'm going to say the average was around 63, 65 with this 465 battery. All right, I'm going to take a 300 mile. We're going to do the same thing. Plug this up, put the test down down, stick it upside down. Zero it out. All right, here we go. 450. I mean, 50. I've seen 50 grams. Here we go again. 45. Uh, I think I've seen 47 right there. We'll do it one more time. 48 so the max thrust we've seen so far is uh, 67 and the lowest we've seen is 45 we got one more battery here do the same thing Stick it on the stand. Tear the weight. Sixty-five. Move my antenna out of the way. Put the middle scale. Fifty. I'm going to stick it up just a little bit further. Do it one more time here. 69. I think I've seen 70 on that. All right. So it is safe to say 70 was our highest throttle and 45 was our lowest. And uh, so that's what we got with motor plugs. I want to show you what this drone weighs without anything. 
it's a pretty heavy drone it's 18 grams right now so with motor plugs with a dipole antenna with a tpu uh, canopy and uh, hq props and oh i dropped it and peak screws i've got peak screws in this so with all those components right there we got an 18.34 gram whoop well, that is a little heavy for me i am used to having something around 16 15 grams so that's what you can expect out of uh that chip is a pretty heavy chip uh, the frame is really light the uh, motor plugs is going to weigh it down we did take the rubber off the back of the plug uh, so next what we'll be doing is we'll make it lighter weight i'll use a different frame a lighter frame a lighter canopy a lighter chip and uh, we'll see what we get out of it but right now we're looking at 70 grams of thrust and also we're looking at 45 grams on the low end so let's say i'm going to say 65 is how much grams of thrust we have an 18 uh, gram whoop if you add a battery i got that 70 grams out of one of those batteries so 26 grams so it is safe to say that you have about uh, two and a half times the weight on this drone here. Let's uh, do some math real quick and I'll put it on the screen and I'll show exactly what uh, 26 grams, uh, 26.62 grams, and we're going to divide. Uh, that by uh, 70 I mean I'm sorry 65 grams of thrust and right there on the screen you're going to see how much uh, power to weight ratio that this drone produces with these motors we're going to go back and I'm going to take this drone and I'm going to rebuild this drone make it as light as I possibly can and the reason why I'm doing this, I know it's going to probably get around the same uh, power to weight. I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to get the same power thrust. But if I make this, if I can make this super light, I'm going to get more power to weight ratio. I'm going to get a better power to weight ratio. So that means if I make this drone weigh uh, like super light, if I make this super light, that means that. Uh, I can the thrust that it produced uh, I can get more power out of it because uh, a super light drone it won't have to take as much thrust to move it around and what we want it to do we want it to feel like a race drone so anything anything that is uh, over 18 grams that's that's really heavy for a drone like this uh, we want to get it about three grams lighter if we can. I'd like to get it around uh, the low 15s. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut everything down, make it nice and slim. I am going to keep this frame though because we have more motors to test. This is not the only motors we have to test. We also have uh, some another set of VCI motors that are purple and black. So some of you guys might know what those are. But we're going to be testing more of these, and I hope you like this test uh, because this is a real-world test. This is exactly what your drone would do on some batteries that have been used. So uh, we'll, we'll do this test again, and th the next test you'll be seeing on the thrust stand is the same motors, as light as we can possibly get it, and uh, I can get them pretty light, guys. So... I'll see you guys on the next video. I hope you guys like this and uh, have fun. See ya.